Hello, this is J.A. McDonald, and welcome back to Tour de Minecraft. This is part two of Failures of Experience. This is my uh, house I built. It's a fairly nice house. This world we started immediately after the other one. I immediately marked the spawn chunks again, and was about to repeat every failure I did last time, but then a thing happened that I'm going to talk about later that prevented that. Over here we have an unfinished stable, I think it was. And you saw my house back here. Here's my chicken farm. It didn't even have enough time to really start running yet. This is the first time I've actually used stained glass in a build. And one of the few times I've used uh, regular glass in a build. Uh, down there is my mine and the rest of my house. Here's just some things I collected. I'll show you the rest of my house in a bit here. One of the things I built that I didn't get built on the other world because we were in uh, mountains, not plains, is I built my horse race timer, or my horse timer, that I built back in Bigger, Better, Harder, and again in Big Bad Full Auto. This one works just as well as the others, but I have the horses sorted better. Mules, horses, slow horses, and then somewhere around here I have uh, battle horses, which are horses that have, I think it's 14 or more hearts of health, but might not, uh, here we are, war horses. Uh, come on, mount. Yeah, the war horses all have lots of health on them, and they've been bred this way, but they're not terribly fast, but, you know, they're a war horse. War horses aren't terribly fast. Oh yeah, this is the first world I used this carpet fence trick to get over fences in. That's not something I'd regard as a failure. That was pretty cool. Then if I run over this way, I'll show you Grendel of Fire's house. Sarnon didn't get a chance to start building a house before we abandon this one, we abandoned this one fairly fast. He has this pretty cool landscaping thing going on with water and trees and I, I like it. It looks cool. I must admit. I, I need to start doing more landscaping like this on my houses. So far, no, none, none going on. So in here is his house. Nice little overlook of his river. Nice big windows and it goes down to a further part of his house in here. And this is a bunker he built, well I built for him. So when you flip the lever it automatically fills with obsidian and empties. This is the reason we restarted. I'll explain that in a bit. Here's his bedroom or something and some something I don't know. I didn't get much chance to explore his house and ask him about everything. Then here was a conference room and here is a big gaping crater that is the reason we restarted. It's because he had a uh, he's putting in a fully automatic wheat farm and carrot farm and potato farm. Let me get back up there. And he, he failed it several times in a row. And he got so annoyed at it, he just decided that he wasn't, you know, he was going to fill it in. Well, he was going to ask me to fill it in and then start over. So I filled it in for him. And I filled it in with TNT. And I didn't know, or I missed, when I was filling, he had a torch like this or something in the floor in a spot that didn't get filled but directly adjacent to it that set off all that TNT of a farm's worth of TNT and just blew half his house out and part of my house which I'm about to show you and that is why we abandoned this world and since then we haven't played Minecraft together just because we haven't wanted to start a new world. 
we might sometime in here, but you know, it's we'll see how it goes. Over here is my house. I like the floor in it. And a nice elevator, standard or er, ladder, not elevator, down to my mine, which is built on the there here's lava storage. Level one of mine, level two of mine, three, and then my house, which is this really cool silver glass, which is actually kind of a, a light gray, over andesite, I think that is. Let me check this stuff here. Yeah, it's andesite, with glowstone lighting in it. And then I have these kind of clear walls, but you can see they're there, because they have that and I was going to do a similar pattern all around and I have I was going to have passive mob farms in here with some lava lighting here's my regular garden regular farm had everything except melons growing in it because we didn't have melon yet then I was going to do something in each one of these slots and it was working out great until I actually uh, accidentally uh, kind of sort of blew up a huge crater. And those lava pillars are what's left of my lava lights in my farm. And half well, a quarter of his house was gone, and a quarter of my house was gone. And we just said, ah, whatever. And we abandoned this world. Which is, it's a real bummer, because I really like how this place is turning out, but, you know, I, I, I'm not gonna... It's just, you know, when you blow up that much of your base and his base, and you have this gaping cavern, you just get this feeling that, why should I even bother coming back and doing anything else here? And, you know, this feeling might pass, or it might not, and I might fill in that hole just to have it filled in, or I might not, but, you know, it's a big hole. Not much you can say there. It kind of wrecks your world for you. Then up here I have a storage chest, because all that mining was really uh, filling up my storages. But we played on this world for not that long. Oh, I'm in creative. Not that long at all until we just got sick of it. 